Hi guys, it's Jim. I uh, haven't done a review in a while, so I figured I'd do it. First time I smoked this new one. Uh, just the other day, I got a tin of uh, Soterica Tabacchiana. Tabacchiana? Esoterica Tabacchiana. Dorchester. It's a vapor. Virginia Perique. It says a rich, full, matured Virginia with Louisiana Perique. And uh, I looked it up on uh, on tobacco reviews, and it's kind of one of those things where you either love it or you hate it. It's pretty mild for uh, Virginia. The reviews kind of reflect that. It says the blender is uh, SF Germain and Son. It's in out of the UK. Uh, says tin description a special formulation of six light Virginias plus golden and uh, dark Virginias with air cured leaf and a pinch of Louisiana Perique easy burning easy burning is ensured by the carefully selected cut the Perique balances the Virginias for the discerning palate and a lot of people don't like Virginias I've found because they have a tendency to be kind of bitey and I've read a lot about smoking Virginias and I think Virginias are something that needs to be smoked a little uh, a little slower, packed a little looser than like burly blends or English blends. You kind of have to be aware of that Virginia is a little bit of a different animal. Periques are, or uh, vapors are especially they're uh, they can be kind of bitey. Virginias can. This one definitely has a little bit of a spice to it, but it's more like a, if you try to huff this thing and smoke it like a smokestack, you're going to get a bite. But the Perique is light, barely discernible. But uh, here I like the ribbon cut of it. Mm. Mm -hmm. See that? It's uh definitely you need to smoke this one a little slower. But uh. It's predominantly Virginia and light Virginia, so it's n it doesn't have that strong spicy bite. But it does have a little bit of a little bit of a spice to it, not a bite, but spice. And I definitely like the smell the smell of a vapor. There's really nothing that's quite like it. It's definitely, you know what, I, I'm gonna, I, I, I have no problem saying that this is in the top two or three Virginias I've ever smoked, let alone vapors. It's definitely in the top two vapors. I actually can't think of anything right off the top of my head. But the fact that it's not completely blowing my mind tells me that it's not at the top. Not It's not number one, but it's definitely at the top. But I think you gotta, you gotta remember to smoke it like you are supposed to smoke a Virginia because the Perique isn't very the Perique isn't dominant at all when it says a pinch of Perique that's right the only reason I would think that there's Perique in there is because they told me there was and I'm feeling a little bit of a just a bar barely, barely a bit of a nick hit
But vapors and Virginias, you got to keep them cool. You got to pack it light. You got to just sip. You really get more of a flavor profile out of a Virginia if you just pack it lighter, sip it. But I like it. It's good. Glad I've got a little bit of tea to go with it. English tea at that. PG Tips. Those of you that know PG Tips know. English tobacco. English tea. I stopped doing music on my videos because I had so many damn complaints from from uh, YouTube, always saying, "Oh, uh, so and so's property is on this video," and blah blah blah. And it, I hate that crap. I'm not selling my YouTube video, so I don't know why I can't have some music in the background. I like like to have a little bit of nice music in the background, but they get so pissy. I was even watching a movie. And there was music on the movie, and the YouTube complained about the movie that was playing in the background on my TV because somebody was watching the TV. Ridiculous. But anyway, um, if somebody, if if you've got, if you like vapors and you like Virginias, but people complain about the room note. This might be something you might want to try because as you see, watch. You see how quick that disperses? And I'm really puffing on it. Normally I just... little puff. And, uh... Yeah, it definitely mellows out around mid-bowl. This is a small bowl. I'm getting down about two thirds down into the bowl, as you can see, or a quarter, two thirds down in there. And it's definitely mellowing out. Normally, I'll take all that tobacco and I'll uh, put it on a cookie sheet, on a paper towel for a couple hours, let it dry, and then I'll put it back in the tin. So it'll dry out because I like to have tobaccos I smoke in my cobs to be a little drier. I might try that with this one. See if I can work that little bit of bite out. Mellow it out even a little bit more so I can keep the flavor. Or I should say not work the bite out but work that moisture out so that I can sip on it and enjoy it, it'll, it'll stay lit better. But as you can see, this one isn't that, it's not hard to keep lit. I just opened the tin today and it's obviously not that moist. Once I got it lit, it stays lit. You see how I'm just sipping at it? That's how you're supposed to smoke a uh, Virginia, predominantly Virginia, a vapor. Just sip. So anyway, yeah. This one, uh, I'm definitely going to recommend it. Esoterica Tabacchiana. Dorchester. I definitely recommend it. It wasn't too expensive. It was $14, $15, the local tobacco, so... Give it a try, guys. Uh, talk to you later.